this is sort of, uh, you know how they have footnotes, you know, on, on, um, when you write a paper, like in one of their academic, um, schools, you know, this is my source or whatever. Um, so this is like a footnote as part of a file share of my childhood. So I realized when all the phones and laptops and everything came out, I, I was able to translate it in, in my own filing cabinet, you know, memory driven program maps of what I experienced when I was a small child, what was really no different than when the phones for, came out. And I found that I was, I didn't start talking to myself or speaking into like what I'm doing right now, right? Picking up the phone and then choosing to communicate uh, with the camera of the camera of the phone and, and, and put something up there. Okay. And so I figure most people can translate this, why this is, as it relates to attention, the tension span. The, the tensions of the nerve span, <laughs> reverberation, reverbs, and, um, and frequency modulation, frequency modulation spheres. So when I, as a child, I began reminiscing the differences over time, space vectors. Um, when I was a child growing up, and back then in the 50s and 60s, they had dial tones, the dial tones, the spin tones. And so when I was a child and we had those phones in our house and as children were growing up in elementary school and can call their friends, get on the phone and call the friends, right? I was not comfortable with being on the phone for any length of time, a time wave as that relates to the height and width and actual spin rotation of the amplitude and the magnitude of my spin. So I realized that I was getting phone calls when I was a young teenager or around 10, 11, 12 years of age. And I realized that the tech operator on the other end of the line the length of the line, the length of the time was wanting to hang me on the phone for a longer period of time, which was preventing me from doing other things with my energy because I was being hung up on the phone. So there is a way to very politely and respectfully get off the phone so I'm not held captive by other tones, the other dial tones. You see how that works with phones? The dial tones of the phones, as in acid and alkaline speaker phones, and so this was why I realized that even getting up on a phone and putting my mug shot up here and sharing files, um, I am actually not really that comfortable, but I, 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 because the communication or the transmission as in neurons, my essence, it cannot be translated. And, and this goes back to the whole stories of when I've shared this before about how long does it take eyes to eyes, soul to soul, the windows of the soul, the neutron windows, the neutrinos, naturally gifting electrons. How long does it take to really get to know somebody heart to heart, soul to soul, spirit to spirit. So the hearts are connected. The still point of one, is connected to the still point of another so that both those hearts, which are the key codes, opening to Asia and to Dore, door one. Open the door, open the files, open the first sun, open the eternal sun, 
So their heart is experiencing what my heart is experiencing. They're experiencing in their heart because we're both experiencing being one with an eternal son. Because we're both experiencing the eternal one. Because we're both experiencing pure, eternal, eternal, absolute love. So we're both experiencing real time, which is no time, which is no time illusions. The difference in codes is a difference in tones. Ah, uh, yeah.